fighter. back to my channel so good morning everyone so for today's video I'll be sharing to you my routine on the online class okay ko ano man yung ginagawa ko uh, for the whole day of the duration of my online classes and this is the teacher's edition my routine may not be the same to your routine kasi nga iba-iba naman tayo ng experiences but um, for some, especially yung mga nag sa bahay, so I guess um, you will uh, relate to this kind of setting or to this kind of, of routine. And I hope that um, you will also see what's behind the camera, what's behind the video conference, and what's the reality um, of cam. As of now, I'm still waiting to my students. So my class will start pa naman at 8.30 and it's 8.24 pa naman. So they have at least 6 minutes to enter my class. I usually, if my schedule is 8.30, so I start or I will start at 8.35. So so on and so forth. If my class will start at 1 p.m., so of course I will start at 1.05. So that uh, it will give at least more time for them to prepare and to enter the link or to video conference um, for that specific day yeah so I hope that um, others will enter early mm -hmm. okay so good morning everyone so may I ask all of you to please turn on your cameras okay for our attendance for today I'll be taking a screenshot uh, for our attendance. So again, mm, everyone please turn on your cameras. Please give me your biggest smile. So I'll be taking a screenshot in one, two, three. Okay, wait, I'll be saving it first. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Okay, so thank you so much. Now, um, today we will be talking about new topic and a new lesson and this lesson will be um, very helpful for your upcoming performance task and of course your uh, midterms exam. So 
yeah, this is my routine um, during lunch time. So usually, um, ako lang talaga magisa sa bahay. So after class, after my last period, every morning I cook my own um, lunch, of course. <laughs> Pero minsan, pag nandito yung cousin ko, of course, siya ang nagluluto. But, um, if ako lang mag-isa, like now, okay, after class or after my last period, I immediately cook, um, of course, rice and, and ulam para, uh, of course, para may pakain din ako. Right now, um, I'm going to start my afternoon class. So actually, it's already 12.55 and my class starts at 1 p.m. So yeah, um, the same thing with what I've done earlier in the morning that I actually opened my Zoom earlier than the scheduled time or actual class. And then I gave or I give five minutes grace period before I, before I will start the the discussion so at exactly 105 that's the time that I will um, formally start the discussion for this afternoon's class Bye. 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 So, kahit natapos na yung discussion ko for the day, hindi pa rin natatapos yung gawain ko at yung trabaho ko for the day kasi meron pa akong gagawin na paperwork. Specifically, um, gagawa pa ako ng exams because next week exam na ng mga students ko. And, yeah, usually natatapos ako mga around 8 or 9 p.m. Kasi nililimit ko yung oras ko para meron din akong time sa sarili ko. But I don't know for other teachers kasi some of my co-workers, um, co-teachers, natutulog sila na madaling araw which is very very nakakapagod na. And aside from that one, ang iba hindi natutulog kasi meron kayong mga students na nagchat-chat, nagme-message kahit madaling araw. So yun, um, this is a part of our job, this is part of our work. Bye. Bye. Bye.
put your finger down if gusto mo na bumalik sa normal class. So, ayun na nga guys. Um, hindi pa ako natapos sa mga paperworks ko kasi hindi naman talaga natatapos yung mga paperworks namin. Um, pero gusto ko na mag-rest kasi maaga pa yung klase ko bukas. 8.30 na naman. Actually, 8. So, iising na naman ako ng 7am and I need to rest para meron akong energy for, ma for another day of the discussion kasi unfair naman for the for the students for this day na napaka energetic ko pagdating ng kinabukasan or bukas na schedule hindi ko mapapantayan yung energy ko kanina so yun um, sa mga co-teachers ko dyan please mag rest in kayo pag may time um, wag nyo pagurin yung sarili nyo if hindi na kaya matulog na kayo and Um, always remember na health is wealth. It's very cliche to hear, but yes, it's true. Yes. So that is the reality behind the online class in a teacher um, edition or in a teacher perspective. And I guess for other teachers is not that the same kasi maybe iba yung way niya or iba yung paraan niya para i-handle yung online class but uh, for this video the, I made this so that um, I will share to others or um, students from other schools or from, from other places will see that they are not only the ones who are adjusting or who are having a hard time in online class so even us teachers we own we also have our own struggles we also have our own problems and we also have our own difficulty adjusting in this kind of new normal which is the online class and I hope that um, to erase okay to erase the negativity um, to everyone to the teachers to the admin to the school let's just be more considerate let's just be more acceptable that it is actually happening and it is really happening so that ends our video for today and please don't forget to um, click um, the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to uh, be updated on my future videos and thank you so much and um, see you on my next vlog bye